May the 11th, 2024. Guys, you're looking at satellite images from stereo ahead. It's this satellite that's very close to our planet. We've had an X5.8 flare. That's the strongest of Solar Cycle 25 so far. Now, check this out. The X flare is going to come out the right side of this image right there. But notice the left side. Those are sunspots that are coming around from the other side of the planet. That's a very strong flare. I don't know how long a break we're going to get on this situation. This is what we're dealing with now, and you can see the activity coming around the edge. You're also seeing filament releases on this particular uh, satellite. This is the SDO. By the way, here's, again, you can see both X flares. We've had two today. But the satellites are just now starting to come back online fully. Both this satellite and Blasco, uh, the SOHO satellites, were down for a while. But uh, again, right there is an X flare. And we're going to look at it from the teal camera from the same satellite. What that does is it, it filters it in a different way to where you can really see the ultraviolet images of this. But the sun is very active. Look at the filaments reaching around it. Now again, you can see there's flares here in the bottom right. I'll pause it and back it up right into that X uh, 5.8. And again, what's coming around the left side of this image, we're going to have to pay very close attention to. But this is the flare we're dealing with now. Again, there were two today. They are not on the CME trackers yet. That's an X 5.8. Now, because of where it's at, it's not directly Earth-facing, but when you have a flare like that, guys, it radiates in all directions. Right there, that's a second one, but right here is the 5.8. Then you had an uh, X 1.5 right after that notice we're still at a 75 percent chance of x flares that's extremely high and that's what we're lit dealing with what have we had now seven or eight in the last few days and they're continuing the sun is really kicking into the top sections of solar cycle 25 how long will that last we don't know yet a solar cycle usually is about 11.8 years it matches the orbit of jupiter around our sun so you've got five and a half years or so of rising into a solar cycle and then about that long coming back down. Look at where the roars would be now. The sun, it's sunrise, it, or the sun is rising over the Atlantic. It's 8.38 a.m. now, and you can't see those auroras. But, guys, they were seen all over Mississippi last night here in Florida and all the way to Puerto Rico. Now, in Florida, down in the Keys, you're at 27 degrees. Here, central Mississippi, we're at 32 degrees. But, again, Puerto Rico is re reporting it. We've had a 900 kilometer per second wind burst right there. And what that does is 2 million miles an hour. Also, this is from Ron Gerald. This is the big key, Florida, 24.7 degrees. That's far south. And these, look how red the skies were. Again, not as far south as Puerto Rico. But what you're doing, guys, you are living through an extreme solar event as far as geomagnetic storms and all of the stuff that we're looking at, the different uh, information from the different satellites. That's just part of history because this is building up to be quite a solar cycle 25. We don't know where this is going to end, but I do know this planet is in peril but one reason the demons are loose and i don't know how long our father in heaven is going to put up with it look at the water temps and this is just may the 11th 85 in the caribbean 79 off the coast of florida inside the gulf of mexico itself and the, it looks like the gulf stream is warm running up the east coast from florida through the carolinas but uh, this is where they're going to usually start either caribbean or the gulf the first ones coming into the season but guys, just pay attention to that. This is kind of a side note, but we're leading up into hurricane season. And with this heat, it's not going to help. But guys, there was a lot of information. Again, this morning at uh, before 7 a.m., you could not get the SDO satellite images. You could not get the LASCO images. They have an automatic shutdown system. And what happens when you have a flare that strong, they will sense it, and they will turn some of their electronics off. Uh, and just to preserve them but they seem to be back on now and we will watch it 
I've got to make a couple of errands this morning, but as soon as I get back, we're going to check this out, and I will get another video up.